Right, so uh, as you all know, Bloxburg just released an update, and when I say just, it's probably been like six days since they've released the update, but you know, we ignore that. But in spite of that, I thought it'd be a really good idea to make a diner because of like all the new items. That's basically the gist of today's video. I've already planned something out, but there's also going to be a challenge where I use every one of every single item that Bloxburg added that is relevant to the diner at least. So as you can see, if I go to the new section, there's like a bunch of different new items items uh I don't, I don't even know what this is a commercial trash can i've never seen anything like this but yeah the goal is to try to use as many of these as possible obviously ideally use one of each thing so i could showcase it in a build also i have been giving you guys some updates as to what i've been doing with this i have planned out this little sign thing that looks absolutely gorgeous probably gonna start with the sign and i'm gonna get straight into it so the sign is honestly not too hard to build and i know i'm getting straight into this but you know it is what it is it's just a couple of basic shapes and then uh decal for the decal i'll probably leave the uh what's it called the code in the description of the video if not then uh remind me and spam the comment section and the sign is honestly really simple all you have to do is resize a basic shape make another basic shape copy be that paste it again and wider make it go up however much it doesn't really matter then you want to grab another basic shape i'm gonna say basic shape a lot am i and you want to make this wide and uh just a just a quick uh caution this will use pretty much all of the game passes for building in the game uh so yeah just a heads up i mean it's probably only gonna be the sign that uses all the game passes in the game so you should be fine building this if you are building this right so i know it looks scuffed right now and it won't look scuffed eventually once i get this decal in also unfortunately it is not a bunch of neon lights i'm not gonna lie i have no time to to spend making a giant custom neon sign so i'm just gonna take this decal on my alt account it's called y faulty and then i'm just gonna paste it in and, and of course it's not showing okay. oh yeah there we there we go yeah 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 there we go there we go anyways once this is in it'll pretty much look about right obviously there's a giant arrow that needs to be placed and to do that it's a little more complicated so bear with with me not gonna lie it's pretty simple if you understand your basic shapes all you have to do is make a basic shape all right so we're gonna start with a part and then we're gonna grab two wedges all right and then with these two wedges uh we're gonna do something uh kind of simple not really we're just gonna resize them just make them a little skinnier and you want two identical wedges and then with your transform tool you want to use the blue one and flip it upside down and then you want to move this one on top of it but you can't because like you can't but anyways uh <laughs> maybe i should just do this separately yeah that would probably be a better idea um looks a little scuffed but uh it'll do it'll do and of course you can just make them larger all right on from this uh next thing you want to do is take another <laughs> wedge we're gonna have a lot of wedges in this arrow obviously because it is an arrow gotta point them in the right direction and we're just gonna take the wedge and make it super long just like that um I actually i'm just gonna take that move that down there and replace it with a different one so i can resize this to the max and make this a little wider as well now with this one you're gonna rotate it on the red axis and then you're just gonna move it this way and then move it this way and just trust the process guys it'll work maybe okay now you should have something like this once you've dragged your wedge back up and now you want to place whatever this thing is a convex straight uh let me just line it up with uh the the sign and then once again you go in with your transform tool and then you drag it up and down and until until it fits and then you can make your small adjustments with your uh transform tool okie dokie and then for the final piece of the arrow we're gonna take our concave straight we're just gonna rotate it resize it make sure it's the right width rotate it once again with your transform tool and that ladies and gentlemen is how you make a sign but it looks kind of scuffed compared to like the one i i showed on um uh, the community post but it's okay we're here to make scuffed things kind oh what the heck is that okay there we go arrow all done Woo, let's go okay spending too much time on the arrow uh and then you just want to move this so it's like not too wide but not not too wide and then you can just re readjust the size of the faulty's diner to to match the sign really quite simple nothing too difficult i think uh you guys can all do this i'm pretty sure just gonna move this over so it lines up with the diner part the more you use your basic shapes the more you'll understand what the heck they do i mean even now i still don't understand what they do but hey i mean it, it looks fine it looks like a 
diner thing. Okay, now on to the final part. We just get our lighting in and we just go to our horizontal neon lights and we drag this all over the place. There we go. Nice and simple and very glowy. Uh, now we just do that for the other side. Now, these lights are actually kind of obnoxious to place. Like, why can't I place it here? There we go. Finally. Yeah, this is very tedious, but you know, it'll turn out looking great at the end. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Final lighting pieces. Uh, we're just gonna drag this onto the main pillar and we're just gonna color this a different color actually. And then for the colors, I'm just gonna go for a simple gray because I feel like that's really fitting. And then for the open sign, I'll just keep it red. Okie dokie. And then finally the arrow. There we go. All done. Nice little sign for our diner. I wouldn't say little actually. And I'm just gonna put it here for now. Now to work on the actual building. It's very simple. Nicely laid out. Actually, I should probably show this to you guys for a quick second. Uh, I'm just gonna drag in the walls. This is the layout I've come up with. It is a little cramped inside, especially when we get to the end, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but it is large enough for a diner and I think I think that's all there is to be said. For the main entrance, I'm gonna use a commercial door. Where's the commercial double door? I'm just gonna slam that right here. I don't know about any other entrances or exits. Maybe one here, maybe one at the back. I'm definitely gonna try to use this commercial swinging window door or this commercial walk-in door. Probably this one because it looks like the most diner-y. It's also a new item, so that checks off one from our list. I'm gonna end up using these uh, booth couches in the end, so I'm just gonna place those there, but I can start working on the windows now. Now I'm gonna go for a quick custom window. Uh, nothing too special once again. Just gonna place our window, put some structurals down. Where are our structurals? Now with the diner I'm trying to build, it's kind of like modern but also retro themed uh i don't know how it's gonna turn out hopefully well <laughs> i mean I, I hope all my builds turn out well i just have no idea where they're headed yeah that looks fine we can do something like this here we go now i place this all around the entire restaurant sorry diner i feel like this is gonna make my plot data go insane yeah whatever yolo i also don't know if it's a smart idea to really put windows in the kitchen area but i'm gonna do it anyways an extremely large one in the bathroom also doesn't help my case but i'm gonna do it anyways haha <laughs> a lot of these are just gonna be because like i'll do it anyways okie dokie that's our main structure done uh now for some wall trim i feel like wall trim would help this come together okay that did absolutely nothing but anyways i'm gonna continue uh they added this new commercial drive through window which is actually really sick i really like this so i'm gonna place it here like now i don't have to do the sliding door thing which is super annoying half the time Alrighty, for the color scheme i don't know why i'm thinking about this actually right now but uh i have no idea what to make that but i'm sure an idea will come to me eventually all right so here's the hard part yeah i don't know how to explain this but it's it's kind of difficult roof how to make roof i want to make it curved how do i make it curved well that's also kind of simple Simple. Just follow this roof pattern and it will all work out. Okay, first roof like that. <laughs> Bro, as soon as you guys heard first roof, that should have been like a warning. All right, first roof just like that. Um, I don't know if I should make it go higher actually. Maybe that's a little too high, but at the same time, it looks about right. You know what? Whatever. We'll go down one. Our second roof is gonna be just about here and we don't have to click off of anything uh, just yet at least. Our second roof is gonna look something like this, but it's also gonna be taller. Now, you might might be wondering what the heck is going on and i'm gonna explain it to you now i'm gonna use a basic shape right here in this corner to kind of like bevel out the edge so as you can see i've just resized the basic shape to make it look round around the edges and we just do this for every single corner that has a little one by one notch on the inside the ceiling might look kind of jank but <laughs> i mean we gotta work with it if we want this design i mean it's pretty much unnoticeable until like you actually want to notice it so i guess that's not too big of a problem but once you're done with your cylinders you can delete your floors okie dokie now i just gotta resize i mean not resize transform all of these basic shapes down for these ones it might be an issue hold on i just gotta move this up because i don't think that's gonna be good for our our what's it called our ceiling all right for these ones in particular you're gonna have to resize them to a different height obviously because the roof is a different height i don't know why i'm trying to explain that but like yeah just do that <laughs> and then after that the diner should start taking shape kind of of not really but like it looks cool maybe i just need to paste some of my decals around and hopefully that'll fit Balties diner okay next up we're probably gonna add some neon lights around the around the roof and this shouldn't be too hard i'm just gonna go with the red neon color we've gone for right over here actually i don't know if that's a good idea it's not really bright enough so i'm just gonna make this a little pink i mean 
it works it's glowy although this part might look a little um yeah messed up because it's not the same height but like you can't notice that from a distance really kind of now that i've pointed that out you guys are probably triggered you know what i'm gonna just do the long straights for now and uh i'll come back to those little corners later because i feel like there's a better way to do those because like what if i could just do one corner and then copy and paste it and rotate it big brain builds call for big brain people i honestly don't know how overboard i'm gonna go with the neon lighting in side maybe just a little is good i don't know that's not looking too bad but maybe we could add some like wall trim on the outside yeah this is gonna look good honestly i might try to go for the white and red color scheme it, maybe something like chick-fil-a uh before you say anything about in and out burger this was kind of inspired by that but it also wasn't i literally just looked up retro diner on pinterest and stuff popped up and i just took this sign from that but yeah i guess you could say it does look like in and out even though maybe it's because i'm Canadian. Anyways, back to building. I'm gonna add these two signs outside, so one's gonna be the menu and one's just gonna be like a promotional thing. I feel like that would be a nice addition. I guess it's time to work on the parking lot and stuff. So for the parking lot, I'm just gonna go with our classic basic shapes. We're just gonna resize them to make it look like a little buffer. Just gonna put a couple of those around the sides and then around the front, we could probably just go with a couple of fences just to block this off. There we go. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just keep it like that. Drive through, drive through, drive through wraps around the side wraps around the side and then we could just take our sidewalk thing and put it where it needs to be put okie dokie that takes care of that um i guess i should start putting on the neon lights on the outside so i'm actually just gonna do this individually uh i'll cut back to you guys when this is done though because this is gonna be <laughs> pretty boring okay and that's all the corners done now i'm just gonna add a bit of gardening around the entire build hopefully that turns out well oh yeah i also moved the sign to right here I felt like it was more fitting, but, uh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I feel like that's enough gardening. Um, what next? What next? Oh, yeah, probably onto the coloring. I have no idea what to color this. Uh, so I'm just gonna YOLO it. If we are going for the white and red color scheme, I'm probably gonna try and go for a little texture down for the wall trim. Although you can't really see it, I might go for this little tile thing. And then we can make this red going all the way around. Oh, yeah, there you go. Probably not the best idea to put yet another window back here, but I feel like it's necessary okay yeah i feel like the more i build using this color scheme the more it starts looking like that in and out burger please i mean it looks all right i can see why they chose this now <laughs> whatever i'm just gonna continue building and see if i change the color scheme eventually i mean you know what would be cool if i did like the blue color scheme you know because old bloxy burger although i don't know if that'll look okay i mean diner red white iconic yeah whatever i'm just gonna keep building although i do have an idea for what i want to do up here here. I'm just gonna try something out and hopefully it works out. Maybe I could put an arrow there and then I'm gonna build something up here. The idea is to build a giant burger and just slam it on top of the building. Maybe it'll look good. Maybe it'll be a bit too extra though. Right, so that's gonna be our bun and then this is gonna be our cheese and then that's also our patty down there. Here's our cheese. What's next? Maybe tomatoes or lettuce. So for tomatoes, I'm just gonna drag these, make them larger and then just make them flat as well. Um, And then I'm just gonna get lazy with maybe the lettuce which is probably next and i'm just gonna make it super large and <laughs> round and then for our final piece our bun i'm probably gonna make it super large and then to make it round i'm gonna use these convex outer corners and then basically just resize them until it fits okay well that was a little easier than i thought it was gonna be does this look good oh my gosh that actually looks kind of juicy oh yeah there we go there we go we got our burger now what would make this look even cooler is if i made it float and it might not look realistic but like that's not what we're going for here we're trying to make something look cool that is kind of sick okay uh i'm just gonna leave it at this and hopefully it looks good in the very end yeah giant burger on top of our little diner onto the inside oh i changed it up a bit and when i say just a bit um <laughs> okay um so i just added this little uh squarish texture to the top part the roof part uh which isn't too hard i literally just copied this texture from down here and i also changed the colors down here to beige because i feel like beige would work nicely with red just so it doesn't look too much like in and out but then again it is a generic color so like might as well use it and then for the inside this is what i've decided to go for with the booths so we use the new 
couches and then the new tables and then a smaller one right here just so it's not blocking the entrance so that's pretty simple and straightforward I'm just gonna put in a floor right now so I don't have to later plus I gotta figure out what to color the floors I'm trying to figure out also if I could use like some of the new items oh trash can why am I so intrigued by a trash can I will put these here I think that looks good what next what next what next a uh, commercial rubber kitchen mat I'm gonna put that in the kitchen because you know it is a kitchen but I feel like we could put like a carpet in here just so like people can enter and wipe their shoes off I guess that's pretty normal maybe maybe I'm tweaking yeah I'll just chuck it there okay now I have a kind of cool idea in mind for what I want to do here and it's gonna be like a little bar thing uh and basically how that's gonna work is I'm gonna take a cube and then resize it to like a, a shorter height and then I'm gonna extend it oh god this might not work okay maybe we're gonna have to move the trash cans and save them for later but yeah I'm just gonna continue with this idea I'm gonna make this shorter actually just so it doesn't interfere with the washroom too much I'm gonna place another uh what do you call this cylinder but it's rounded I'm just gonna make it flat again move this move this down a bit once again we're we're going in with our uh basic shapes and transform tool and then now once we have this we're just gonna copy and paste this up and that way it looks like one of our you know retro counters i don't know if you guys see the vision but i definitely see the vision and then after this we could just literally add another cube on top for you know the countertop and then for the edge we could just finish it off with a vertical cylinder all right easy peasy lemons oh okay maybe not oops okay there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah i know this doesn't look right but like might as well do it like like you can't tell this apart really kind of maybe actually you kind of can but whatever anyways let's go in with our new chairs uh where are our high stool chairs there we go we're just gonna rotate these to face the right direction and then this is gonna be like our little bar area for our diner i don't know if that's appropriate for blocksburg but like i'm gonna do it anyways because why not seems like it'd fit in this environment and it looks pretty good okay so for the next part i'm gonna work on this main area and i have no idea how i'm gonna really do that but maybe Maybe just like add a couple of smaller tables and then call it a day. Let me just try to line these up with everything I have. And then for these ones, we could use like the smaller chairs and maybe that's oriented correctly. Yeah, it looks about right. I, although you can't really see much in here. And then that pretty much covers it for the main area. And all I have to do is color it later. Anyways, moving on to the bathroom door. I'm just gonna <laughs> chuck in a normal door because like, what are you gonna do with a bathroom? Like, how are you supposed to do anything else with a bathroom? Just gonna make this door smooch up to that wall. And then in here, I'm just gonna place like, you know, our casual stall and then maybe uh, a sink as well. And of course, we gotta get in with our new automatic paper towel dispensers and our blow dryers as well. Now, I have an idea for the blow dryer and usually, I don't know if you you realize this in actual, um, what do you call them, restaurants, but they have this little wall for you so the water doesn't stain onto the wall. So I'm just gonna try to replicate that here. So like this, they have this little metal thing and then they put the uh, air dryer here. Just a little attention to detail. And then we could just chuck that there. Maybe move this up. Uh, I don't know how high your hands are gonna be, but. And then for the stall, we're gonna go in with a fence gate, wherever the fence gates are. Uh, where's the fence gate? Uh, it is this one. And then we're actually gonna put it over here just so there's a little bit of privacy. And they actually added new plumbing as well. So that's beautiful. Pro flush wall toilet. Now it actually looks legit. Um, what other bathroom stuff did they add? Oh yeah, they added a, a flip flop uh, trash can. I'd love to use the wall mounted counters but i feel like these would work better at a diner it might just be me oh yeah they uh, they also added this mounted soap dispenser so that's a nice addition i'm just gonna put that on the sink what else we got what else we got what else we got plastic condiment bottle okay let's not put that in there i guess we could call that it for the bathroom it looks a little modern for for a diner but like you know might as well work with it you know what i'm gonna put like some really high wall trim in here i feel like that would match <laughs> maybe oh yeah this is fine this is fine this is fine okay and that should cover it for about oh wait we forgot toilet paper did they add new toilet paper i don't think so so i'm just gonna go with uh the normal stuff we've been going for so that's the box toilet paper holder and i'm just gonna try and squeeze my way in here so i can place that there we go oh yeah they added a new storage thing oh yeah this thing oh that is massive and you can't resize it um uh, maybe i won't use that yeah i'll just stick it with a simple simplicity shelf because i feel like this would match especially for a diner and then on top of that i'm just gonna put some toilet paper and oh what is this a toiletry bag is that new probably not yeah i'm just gonna stick it with some toilet paper nice and simple and then just stick this in here perfect it's not aligned but like nobody will notice that and i feel like it's not retro enough so i'm gonna see if i can find something that's uh what do you call it more neon-y that's definitely not a word but uh 
uh whatever i feel like these exit signs would be kind of cool too so i'm just gonna put one here at where the exit is obviously i'm also gonna see if i can put an open sign anywhere else because i feel like we don't have enough open signs i wish i could put them on a window but yeah obviously they don't let you do that so never mind anyways back to what i was saying for the bathroom i think that is it i don't know what else we can really add to a bathroom what is there to do in a bathroom other than your business so i guess we could move on to decorating this a little more than it is right now uh maybe we could put some trays here just to make it look like people have been eating also uh what is new paper cup dispensers do i want to put these in here mm, maybe not i feel like a cool idea would be to put them at the back here where you know people are actually working all right and this is where i go crazy with the new update items so cup dispensers maybe just one what is this commercial ice cream machine oh that is massive 400 blocks books yes please okay i'll <laughs> keep that there uh i can't stack the cup dispensers but i'm just gonna move them off to the side oh that is not what i meant to do yeah that is kind of cool actually i'll put the cup dispensers next to that what is this a commercial food warming why is there so much stuff that i don't have i should start getting this stuff what else we got what else oh we have a fountain drink machine yes please i'll buy that sure what else is next uh straw dispenser i guess we could use a straw di straw dispenser put two i probably shouldn't be putting this at the bar but like i probably shouldn't be putting this at the back of the bar since it's not very convenient for the customers but i'm gonna put it there anyways just so i can say i have it i've also got some nice co condiment dispensers i'll also put some ketchup bottles why not oh yeah they added this vertical grab bar or the horizontal ones too uh i have no idea where you're supposed to put them in the toilet because you know i don't use them but i'm gonna put them anyways just so it's all accessible can't go wrong with a couple of trays so i'll just place two there and honestly i think we got everything that's pretty much new oh wait no there's a touch screen uh cash register that i kind of want to add probably not the best place to add but i'll put it there <laughs> why not uh we don't have a napkin dispenser and i don't really want to use this one because there's nothing else that's smaller unless maybe i'm just missing it and i'm blind i mean there's a folded paper towel dispenser but i don't really want to use that i guess we could just go for a normal tissue box and call it a day yeah we'll leave it at that um one thing i actually kind of wanted to do from the start was put wall trim on like the entire the entirety of the build because usually at diners they have that little uh checkerboard pattern on the sides and even on the floors so since we've already got some outside i'm just gonna to copy that inside our uh diner is coming alive i think the next step we should take is uh getting some lighting in here because it is kind of dark i'm gonna go with these industrial pennants whatever these are called <laughs> i have no idea also i think i said this earlier but the roof is going to be uh kind of intruding but there is a way to fix it but like will i fix it yeah whatever why not to fix it i am literally just going to put a basic shape and move it up oh but then again i should do this like later so it's not like in my way but as you can see i mean it kind of works it's just gonna look a little jank when it comes to this part yeah diner i'm probably just gonna finish the back here with a couple of cabinets now what else can i add to this diner on the inside i mean i guess this is really it i mean i could put some like ketchup bottles here salt and pepper shakers on probably every single table that would be a good addition also what do they have at each table napkins maybe some plates as well just to make it look like people have been eating here plate there plate there well i mean we, i guess we could call it that for the inside of the diner part like this part at least and we could start working on the kitchen i wonder what i could put into the kitchen though oh yeah let me just get this back into the build first i guess we could start with a fridge <laughs> first of all um where to put the fridge i have no idea maybe like back here we could just have a double fridge oh yeah that'll do and then we could just put our uh cabinets up here okay looking pretty good what else is commercial in here that i can put maybe a commercial stove and then a flat grill i'm just gonna move this over to the side but i am probably gonna use that oh yeah what's the new thing oh yeah this thing that's quite interesting i guess i'll put it here so they can work oh they also have this commercial trash can that's kind of cool i don't know if i should go for the modern counters or the commercial counters because they both look about the same i might use this for like the middle island honestly maybe like that and then you can have like a little preparation station all right that seems cool uh what else can we put here that 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 is new i mean we already got our drink dispensers and oh what is this triple base i don't even have that unlocked oh man i, I kind of wish i had that half of the things here are actually really cool I, I love i love this update oh yeah definitely can't forget a sink i always somehow forget a sink um i was literally just talking about a sink too there we go i'll put the sink there i mean two windows here definitely doesn't seem right but like why why 
why not? I guess that's pretty much it for all of the new things. So I guess I could just start with like some of the older things that have been inside of the game already. Obviously, we need a commercial stove. So um, where exactly am I going to put that? I have no idea. I'm just going to slam it in a corner somewhere. Probably there. I feel like we should have two stoves. So I'm just going to put two stoves because why not? And then we could put in a giant hood right here. I feel like the window is actually really nice to look out of, especially when you're cooking. Probably not the best idea in for real life, though. Um, I'm just going to move some trash cans in here. I should also probably get some fryers down because obviously it is a diner and you're you gotta have some fried food. I kind of wanted to get this commercial fryer in, but I don't know where I'd squeeze it. You know what? Never mind. I, I, I know where to put them. Right here, next to all the fruits and vegetables. Best idea? Probably not. Uh, not sanitary at all. What else do I really need to add in here? I have, I have no idea. A slushy machine out here. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I just came back out here. Do I really need a flat grill or anything back here? I mean, do I really need anything back here? It really doesn't need to look nice. For the kitchen, I'm honestly gonna follow the same color scheme it is on the outside, because I I feel like that's fitting and then for the lighting back here i'll just put some sleek lights don't need that much fanciness back here nobody even sees this place oh wait no there's this new uh overhang thing that this awning oh wait no maybe i can't use the awnings or maybe i can use the awnings oh that would be kind of cool awning has been placed one of every single item um unfortunately there is no storage so uh i'm just gonna put a couple of boxes back here just to make it look like there is and then honestly i have no idea what else to add back here like i think i've covered everything Thing. Just gotta finish the lighting and coloring and then that's pretty much it for this build. And for a lot of these, I don't even have to change the colors. Like, it's already in the commercial color that I wanted it to be. Time for coloring. Um, how to color. Let's see. Out here, I honestly kind of want to go for a white wall since it's like really generic or a diner at least. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, so I might go with it. You know what these booths could be really good for? If, if I made like a train, I feel like they'd be really good for making uh the seats. Honestly, might try that one day. Maybe. Oh my god, this is actually so beautiful everything is so like generically colored it's actually kind of insane how how real this looks i mean not real i'd just say like <laughs> it's very generic okay coloring this bathroom is gonna be a pain in the butt yeah i can barely maneuver in here oh my gosh what the heck okay and i think that is pretty much gonna be it for the diner build this is this turned out a lot better than i thought it would oh wait the oh okay the, the roof has issues and now it doesn't okay diner build all complete um am i missing anything probably not i love the burger thing it's so sick okie dokie i guess we could get into our tour now um ignore the underside of the roof here is faulty's diner in its full glory completed glory this is not changed hold on let me just look up a free menu image i feel like still when it comes to decals i'm very lazy oh that is not a good looking de uh menu i'll just put like a chalk menu okay now we get into our tour on the outside this thing looks sick the burger defies all uh laws of physics but but it's okay. This is Bloxburg. So does the arrow right here. But Faulty's Diner, a bunch of nice little custom arrows. Uh, drive through at the side on the left, and it goes all the way around. Those trees are not colored, but ignore that. A bunch of windows peering onto the inside. All right, let's step onto the inside. Hopefully, it looks good in the light. Here we go. Uh, not too decorated, but it's okay. Uh, on the right, we have our booths. Tried using them to the best of my ability, and I think they turned out pretty well. Same with these tables and chairs. But this is what I'm most proud of, though. This little design right here. I thought it is very creative uh like they've got that little um i don't even know what you call that that stacked roundness anyways that's our bar uh the lights aren't really colored but maybe i should color them yeah anyways uh let's take a look at our bathroom back here very small but it is functional uh we have our sink we have the new dryers and towel dryers and then here's our new toilet obviously the grab handle and then moving on back behind the counter we have our soda machine ice cream machine and some of the new trays and uh condiment dispensers that they added does this actually work? Oh my gosh, it actually worked. That is amazing. Uh, let's move on back to our kitchen. This is a swinging door, I think. You should be able to walk through it if it was swinging. Does it open both ways? Okay, no, it doesn't. Uh, but anyways, here's our kitchen. On the left, we have our fryer, vegetable cutting area, trash can, more condiments, and our sink. In the middle, we have our preparation area, and then all the way at the back, we have our fridge and stoves. And then we also have a bit of storage right here, some ingredients in those boxes. But that is pretty much it for this diner um this parking space is a little obstructive of the of the drive through but i that that's fine that's fine nobody's gonna realize nobody's even gonna visit this anyways it's not like i'm gonna open it to the to the public 